believe it. After sharing so much and caring and daring to go into the ministry, you know, the subject of which is sharing and relating Jesus in a personal and intimate way, I kept looking at all the posts and the people that were talking and sharing and relating and it all seemed so dark and dismal. It seemed as though all they knew how to do was put a black light on it. You know, black light that only lights up certain things, doesn't really show the light of the gospel of the grace that God has given each one of us to shine in this darkened time, that we could be the light of the world, that we could show more joy, peace, and love, and compassion than anyone has ever seen, especially when such evil exists in the world. Wow, what a time to shine. But boy, did I find so many Christians really kind of like in the dark. Kind of sad. They were kind of mad. You know, political type people, social event type people, you know, kind of carnal and kind of caught up in the world and its ways. Man, I don't know what you do, but I know I like being in the light. I like thinking about what Jesus did when he came and brought the light of God into the world and the world received it not. It was as though, wow, you're kidding me. The creator of the universe appeared and people rejected him? Huh. I wonder what it'd be like today. Well, I'm sorry, God, but you're not a Democrat, so I'm not I'm not accepting you. I'm sorry, Jesus, you're not a Republican. I'm not gonna follow you. Man, what kind of light is that? I don't know about you, but boy, if the only light you have is darkness, you better quit being, you know, children of the light and you need to be a baby, you know, the word. <laughs> I think it'd be better to be a baby of the word than a child of the light, you know, because you're really not going in the right direction if you're constantly in the dark. <laughs> you know, that's kind of what happens when people are in the dark. They really don't have a clue what's going on. It's almost as though they enjoy the darkness more than they enjoy the light. My presence shall go with you, and I will give you rest. Be strong and of good courage, fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with you. He will not fail you, nor forsake you. The Lord, he it is that does go before you. He will be with you, he will not fail you, neither forsake you. Boy, I could read that twice and see if I'm reading it again. Fear not, neither be... <laughs> Fear not, neither be dismayed. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with you wheresoever thou goest. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Huh. Neither be dismayed. Seems like the Lord is trying to get through today. <coughs> I guess he knew my heart from yesterday. Because he doesn't want me dismayed. He wants me to be light. Hey, I got a word. Came from the Lord. Lighten up. <laughs> Get a grip. The Lord thy God is with you. I mean, it said it three times. The Lord thy God is with you. The Lord thy God is with you. Lord, he is to go before you. Wow. <laughs> Lighten up. <laughs> Get a grip. Get on with it. He has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Our sufficiency is of God. Lead us not into temptation, O Lord. I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walks to direct his steps. My times are in your hand. You know, I like that. It's not in man to direct his steps because that's what people do in politics. They direct their own steps. They say, oh, well, I've done the polls and I've done the politics and I've done my party and I've done this and I've done that and I got this and I got that and I got the money and I got the honey and I got all these things going, you know, and they act like bees in a parlor, you know, just buzzing around, you know, trying to be like so important when they're trying to say that they're representing all these people. I don't know. I'm not going to be dismayed if President Obama gets elected. I don't know. I'm not going to be dismayed if Mitt Romney gets elected. I don't know. For the Lord my God is with me. I do know. 
You see, I do know where the light is. And so I come to the light to see what it is that God would have me to do in a time when I have to pick and choose between who? Nah, you lose. Because guess what? I'm not of the world. Neither am I going with the world. But I'm going to do whatsoever it is that God says to do. And that makes my day so bright and light that it's so easy to live that all I need to do is give it back to God. So I open my heart and I open my ears. I open my eyes and I open my mouth and I ask God, show me the way. Show me the way. Show me the way. And He does. And He will. With you. Just walk in the light.